Hey, I got a best kept secret for you. The Balof self-contained through beam. Uh, through beam sensors are the most reliable sensing technology, but there are some downsides. With traditional through beam, you have to have two housings, you have to align those two housings, you have to have mounting for both, you have to have space on both sides of the application. Not to mention, you have two connectors, two wires, uh, five conductors that you have to land, and you have to be able to have electricity on both sides of the application, which isn't always possible. And so the self-contained through beam sensor is one housing with one connector, and the emitter and receiver are all in that one housing. So the light goes uh, from the emitter to the receiver and goes across the gap there. No alignment necessary. Everything's already pre-aligned. This portfolio is really broad. There are the C-frame or fork sensors that are, that are available. These are available from five millimeters. You can see them here all the way up to 220 millimeters in a, in a gap with many different variations in there. Uh, that allows for a lot of different applications uh, to, to be done. There's also L-frames in, in different dimensions as well, as, as well as a, a ruggedized L-frames that are very commonly used in applications like metal stamping and in welding. Then we have uh, uh, the fork sensor, but in a washdown style housing to be able to do applications where we need to resist uh, chemicals and you know, IP69K style food and beverage applications. There's also uh, fork sensors that are able to detect uh, transparent liquids as well as uh, look, be able to do level monitoring. There are four different light styles in the, in the family. There are, um, there's red light uh, diffuse, those are, are the most common. Then there's pinpoint red light, which acts uh, somewhere between laser and red light. Laser is the most reliable or most precise uh, technology. And then infrared, infrared, you can't see it right, but infrared actually gives you the, um, the most gain. And so it can burn through things like oils or, or dust that end up on the, on the lens. In the family also are, are sensors that have curtains of light, like the optical window. These are used for things like part counting and uh, part eject in a, in a metal stamping application. Uh, and then there's a, a light curtain like this where we actually get a value of what percentage of, of the light is blocked. And that's great for doing like edge guiding or alignment applications. And so between all the different forks and C-frames and ruggedized versions and windows, there are a lot of different ways to use the, this technology to have a successful assembly automation application. Now, this is where to start when you're designing an automation application, and you can find all of these on the Balif website and go to the product selector, and you can pick what fits your application today.